Okay, so we're back. This may be my last message today. I may cut the readings off. Okay. Um, I know for sure, bro. I could have sworn I uploaded like four readings, but whatever. Okay. So let's see what's truly going on here, Fem Masculine. Um what people's true intentions, their true plans, their true identities. <laughs> you know, because I feel like it's a lot of people hiding who they truly are from you. You know, um, I feel like a lot of your discernment, a lot of you all, your discernment is very sharp right now. Your discernment is on point. It's going to be a whole lot of shit happening that's just going to seem kind of like out the ballpark. Like, what the fuck is this? why the fuck is this and you know shit like that divine feminine discernment here root chakra remembrance and the reverse and alchemy in the reverse yeah so it's like some it's, it's some kind of um prosperity that's integrated with you here fam masculine because you got universal love okay um for the most part i do want to say that a good thing is your discernment is in the upright and part in the deck here you have beauty's truth and, and the gift sorry excuse me guys Anyway, whatever um, gifts you have spiritually or, you know, this could be something physically manifested into your life. Um, I just feel like go for it. Whatever, you know, whatever it is you choose to do or you want to do, I feel you should go for it. Um, give yourself a chance, you know, and just say fuck it because... If you don't take the chances, then I feel you won't have any more. Or maybe that's just what someone wants you to do. Maybe they don't want you to take the risk. Somebody may be in their low vibrational energy here. And this could be you, Phil. Just because you're divine feminine masculine does not the fuck mean that you can't be low vibrational at times, okay? I feel like, well, more than anything, you've been learning to balance that out or transmute, rather that kind of energy here if you don't want that energy around you it just won't be okay um for what it's worth i feel you know that you're on the right track i feel like um something is just it's, it's coming your way full fledge and you know you got a couple of people that may be mad about that but who gives a fuck you know i feel like life is about what you make it and what you want to do what you want to be who you want to be where you want to go i feel like a lot of people have put themselves in situations and they may want you to suffer that same fate but that's not for you to suffer it's for them yeah so whatever um whatever this gift is coming to you is solely for you it's like somebody is refusing to let you go they're refusing to move on from you which is very fucking weird because, you know, I, I don't feel like this person has good intentions anyway. It's just like, bye, you know, like, what is it that you want kind of energy, you know, be it family, friends, loved ones, lovers, whatever the fuck, whatever you want to call these kind of people. These, these kind of people shouldn't even exist. But they do and we have to, you know, maneuver around these motherfuckers because they, they're just still here being low vibrational and then too something that i noticed too about this world i literally was thinking about this earlier that you know people know how to manipulate the frequencies they know how to use you know social media to fuck with the frequency of the planet and you know do things to get motherfuckers thrown off here okay something significant here about somebody's son you may be having a little boy congrats or film masculine your son may be getting out of prison film this could be your son coming home from jail or something like that you know um this person did their due diligence for whatever they did they paid for their crimes i feel um i definitely do feel like that i feel like whatever they've done they paid for it you know and um it's time for them to come home a lot of you all your your kids are coming home from jail family or this might be your husband you may have a son with this person, okay? Doesn't matter. But uh, that, I don't know. You got a gift here. 
says you got a gift. So like I said, it could be a spiritual gift or whatever, you know, but you gifted, you always have been gifted, okay? It's not something you just inherit overnight. You've always been gifted. So um, what else is here? Portal, the fairy will of the year. Yeah, so it's a death here as well, but I feel like this is an ending to, you know, something else. And it could also be a main female that passed away. My condolences, fam, my friend. If you lost someone in your family or something like that, um, a lot of you all, I don't know. And fam, this could literally just be you. You know, somebody might have left you a gift when they passed away. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Well, there's somebody false here anyway. Somebody's false. You're fake. It's a wealthy man here and a privileged lady. So this could definitely be some kind of religious. I'm, I'm, I'm getting religious energy here. Um, you know, somebody is refusing to look at something from a, a higher perspective. They were looking at it as, as a religious, traditional, you know, that kind of energy. I feel like you're very fortunate anyway, but, you know, it's, it's just a whole lot of manipulation of your energy here. There's, there's too many people in your energy. So you could definitely be of the public eye, okay? You could be of the public eye. You could, you know, um, have a lot of followers or you you might lead, you know, some kind of organization. It don't got to be in the public, but, you know, a lot of people know you, so, you know, a lot of people would they would be in your energy field, you know. So I feel maybe it's the time for you to stay connected and protected at all times, you know. Do what it is you need to do to cleanse your area, your um, home, your aura. You know, um, I heard your workspace. Whatever, whatever, whatever you need to do, I feel like that's what you need to do. Spirit will guide you to tell you exactly what it is because it's different for everyone. Everybody's going through different shit, so I can't say exactly what it is, but I know it's something to do with cleansing, okay, here. Yeah, courtship, you guys could be uh, meeting somebody new, or, you know, your boo could have just purchased you something for your birthday here, fam, masculine. Either way it goes, um, I feel like whoever you are, you just, this is the need for you to be in a cleansing energy here to just clear your mind i feel like a lot of y'all might just need to go get a massage or you know just go do something that will take your mind off of the bullshit because it's a lot of bullshit right here i feel it's a lot of shit going on that you know it shouldn't this it should not be going on but it is i feel like you have so many leeches sucking and draining your energy vampires you know uh, because you're just such a good person and they feel like you're just so full of life. Oh, I wish I was her. I wish I was him. I wish I could do things like they did, you know, instead of these people actually working on themselves and doing the work. They're just wishing, hoping and praying, doing spell work and shit, you know, to, to, to try to take something from you swiftly that you worked your whole entire life to accomplish, you know, and, um, they get mad when they can't do this shit right here. And they, that's why they stay in your energy field. You're just somebody that people can never forget. Okay, here. Uh, a need to cleanse is what I'm I'm just picking that up very heavily. Somebody's going to be in despair. Okay, like I said, somebody's child is here. Maybe celebrating a birthday. Maybe your baby daddy ain't going to get your child a gift or something right here, fam. That's when you ain't get your baby a gift or some shit. I don't know. Or maybe, you know, the baby mama won't let you bring a gift to this child. It's going to be something regarding a child and their birthday and a gift. Okay. Also, there's that official person pathway in reverse. So, somebody might be trying to travel towards you here. But, it's just not going to be able to happen. It's not going to work because I feel like you're not going to be at home for one. And then for two, this person don't even know where the fuck you live anyway. Yeah, there's the marriage card. Message, thoughts in reverse. And then fucking false person. Of course, that's going to come up. This is like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. But you are indeed the missing piece. You know, all this good shit right here coming up. It's like you you are indeed the missing piece to whatever the fuck this may be. You know, these, this, this energy is uh, not moving. Shit, still, statue. They're not moving. 
maybe it's some kind of money on the line or maybe they're expecting some kind of uh, money off of, you know, you or off of manifesting something like to take from you and to get from them. I heard the old switcheroo. <laughs> yeah. So this motherfucker right here is trying to pull a switch. Like they're literally trying to switch lives with you. Uh, you know, take your abundance and have it for themselves is what I feel. That's, that's never going to fucking happen is what I'm saying, but whatever. So crazy. It's all about you. It's all about what you can do. It's all about what they can't do, what they were never born to do. And what they're trying to take from you, okay? I feel like you've already stepped up to the plate, is what I heard. You've already stepped up to the plate and took ownership of what this is. So, I don't know why people are trying to take it from you. I don't get that. Justice is in the reverse. It could be a Libra here. Okay, here. We got the moon card coming out. I think the queen of swords will be an Aquarius. Uh, let's get one more. I'm going to clarify. Yeah, the seven of wands. The Ace of Swords in reverse. So the Seven of Wands is in reverse. The Ace of Swords is in reverse at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody literally lied to this person. Somebody definitely could have put this person up to something or lied to them, saying that they were going to get something in return for doing something to you or trying to take something from you, rather, is what I want to say. This is a younger energy. It could be your own fucking child. You know, this, this person has been putting a whole lot of pressure on this child. You know, uh, and you know, for whatever it may be worth, which is probably not much. You know, this person is trying to take something from you, and they can't obtain it, so it won't be much to them. You know, it's like they're they're not going to receive any of whatever the fuck they're trying to do. So, what's the justice card here? Why is justice here? <clears throat> yeah, the devil. Like I feel, this person definitely is in devil energy. You know, um manipulating things in the background here it could be a mother figure for sure with the empress i see uh you know just trying to manipulate shit the queen of pentacles here the six of cups something from your past or someone from your past page of cups ace of pentacles in the reverse this is uh, it's a child here there's the five of wands so whatever the hell what's this five of wands and the devil here so what's this yeah so that's the truth so somebody may be trying to fight the truth or maybe trying to keep the truth from coming out but the truth is, this person's a fucking devil and they're trying to make a conflict to you, okay? Here, what's the moon card? Well, of course, the moon card is somebody doing some dumb ass shit up under this moon. You know that, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, the tower. I can't fucking lie. The tower. Amen. So, Ace of Swords, true. So, the truth may bring a tower, is what I'm feeling too. The truth may literally just bring a fucking tower, okay? The Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. There's a Knight of Wands here. Something coming in very quick. Some kind of communication here. Ace of Cups. Uh, you know, whatever whatever this is, it's, it's little shit. It's little ass shit, you know, that this person had been doing in the background. Throwing a rock and hiding their fucking hands, okay? Here, little shit that don't mean anything. It doesn't accumulate too much at all. It doesn't, Okay definitely justice i saw in the upright in this deck but clarify these uh seven of wands yeah so you got the seven of cups coming out and then the fucking <laughs> nine of pentacles so this person thought that this could block you off of your abundance here but instead you're getting even more blessings here the magician in the reverse like this shit is not working bro i cannot make no shit like this so look at all these goddamn cards so the knight of pentacles in reverse then Okay, the Three of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Cups in the reverse, Page of Swords here, Six of Cups, Lover's Card, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups in reverse. So somebody tried to make you miss an opportunity. Somebody literally tried to make you miss an opportunity, but you didn't. This Page of Swords right here is what concerns me. The Pages period is what concerns me because somebody is literally trying to get their child against you. Or, you know, masculine, like I said, this bitch, right? They they might literally be trying to fucking block you off from a relationship with your child. Oh, you know your daddy didn't show up and you done called a thousand times trying to bring a gift to this person. Trying to bring a gift. And I feel like a lot of these masculines like, well, bitch, just, I'll give you the gift. Just give it to him or give it to her, you know, and I don't got to be around. I don't got to stay, you know, get him my gift. But you're going to get justice for this masculine fam. 
because this person is purposely doing this shit. They're purposely trying to ruin your relationship with your child, I feel. I feel like this person talks a whole lot of shit, too, about your child. I mean, about you to your child. They they brainwash your child. Damn, that's a lot of cards. Yeah, Queen of Swords, that's the fucking truth. Yeah, that's just, that's just pure truth. Ace of Wands. A lot of y'all are about to get custody of your kids. The Hermes in reverse could be a Virgo here. Eight of, sword, uh, eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Moon card in reverse again. And the world card in reverse. So it's something that they could not end. But see, it's like I feel they were refusing to end something here because, you know, they were refusing to see shit from a higher perspective. Like I said, they're not, they're, this, this person just don't get it. It's not about you. It's not, it's not about you at all, you know? And see, I feel like you're about to be gifted here for masculine just because of all the strife and stress you done been through, bro, all the suffering. The Eight of Cups, walking away, Eight of Swords in reverse. No, that's the Nine of Swords in reverse. So, you know, this, this person here is very petty. They're very childish. They're very angry. And I feel like it's nothing that you can do about this because that's not your role. You don't play that, you know? I don't know what the fuck this person is thinking, but they're blocked off from you anyway. King of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Hierophant. So this person is mad because you're not having sex with them. So I'm going to just tell you what the real tea is. They're pissed because you're not having sex with them. Because you pull back sexually. And this person may um, be wanting to sleep with you to get another child. Or, yeah, there's the two of cups. Or maybe, maybe they just want to sleep with you. Or something like that to try to block you from being with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, I was just with him and we got another baby on the way and blah, all that bullshit. It's just saying like somebody who's in competition with themselves is what I'm saying. Because they don't compete or compare with this feminine. Whoever this is that you're with right now, masculine, this person does not compare at all with them. So I don't, I don't know what the fuck she's thinking about, but this you will never leave who you're with to be with this person i feel like this person is just pissed off literally around the board they're mad because uh you won't sleep with them or something yeah there's a tower in the two of cups yeah they're 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 really just pissed off because you literally won't take a chance and risk your relationship <laughs> They're bad, so they're gonna use your child against you. What type of shit is this? Yeah, they're gonna definitely do this here. But see, the thing about it is, they don't. They, this person here don't plan on. They don't plan on doing anything new or different. They plan on just, you know, doing little sneaky ass shit in the background, and then, you know, having to deal with it later. Somebody loves those little. um you know those little uh, container, like the little air freshener. The what is it, Glad or uh, Airwick? I don't know, but it's like the little shit that is spread like that. Shh, shh. It got like the mist, like every what fifteen minutes or something like that. Somebody loves those. Maybe you need to refill it or something. Is that Airwick? I believe it's Airwick. I'm not sure, but I believe it's some different brands of it too. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Those shits that be in your bathroom. Okay, here. And you may you may not just use it in your bathroom. You might use it all over your house, but it's I think it's supposed to be for the bathroom. Okay. Normally people have it in their bathroom. Okay, so I don't know. But uh, anything else here for justice? That's too many cards. Anything else here for justice? It's this this shit is really sad because it's like this person they just not getting it. It's like they just, even if they got somebody, true, Ace of Swords again, even if they got somebody, they're still not leaving you alone. It's like they're trying to make your life a living fucking hell because you're just not with them anymore. It's like maybe they want to, but see, the thing about it is this person will literally get pregnant by you and uh, ruin your relationship, but their relationship won't get ruined because they'll lie. You know what I'm saying? But they'll make your life a living hell. They'll reach out to your bitch and say, hey, well, he got me pregnant. But be telling the person that they're with that that's their baby. You get what I'm saying? And then by the time you truly find out that it ain't your baby, it's too late. And this bitch is gone. You know, so that's just what I feel. I feel like this person tries to take advantage of the fact that being messy, you know, some kind, sometimes does cause a mess. 
and some women when when your baby mama is in the picture or ex wife or anything ex girl anything like that bitches really can't take your word you know if they ain't strong headed you know if they don't got a strong mind they're not gonna believe in what you're saying they're gonna believe this bitch especially this whole coming out of nowhere with this shit like bitch what the fuck how the fuck you get my number or how the fuck you know my instagram how you know anything about me bitch you know what i'm saying this person stalks you they follow you like this person may have some kind of tracking device on your phone or on your car or something like that here masculine him but either way it goes, this shit is creepy as hell. These are some creepy motherfucking energies I've been picking up on lately. See, a lot of this shit ain't even y'all goddamn family. A lot of this is people that are ex-lovers, you know, friends that are in love with you but won't tell you. That's secretly jealous that want your fucking life. There's are some stories flying the fuck out. Okay, a lot of these people work together with your family, I feel, yeah. But it's not just your family. You got a lot of enemies right here, fam, I said that's just for sure. You just do. It's a whole lot of enemies you have here. Did do you deserve? No. I'm not saying that, but it just is what the fuck it is. You got a lot of enemies. And it's just because of your greatness. It's because you out here doing good shit and it's a lot of people that look up to you. But it's a lot of people that look forward to being you or being just like you. So they study you and shit. They study, they copy. And they become a, a watered down fucking version of you. You know, but then they then they have to go back and to try to take your life from you because they need to live your life. You know what I'm saying? So that's the portion of all this shit that's just psycho, psychotic. These people crazy. Okay, guys? So make sure you just be watching out for this energy. Just cleanse your space. Cleanse your body, your mind. Like I said, if, if it takes for you to go to a spa for a day or to the beach or to the pool or something, go relax, bro, because I feel like it's, it's a lot of shit in the background that you're just quite, you're not quite aware of. And I feel like this person loves it when you are not aware because that's when they can sneak in and attack you here. Not saying that God ain't got your back, but God will let shit happen, especially when you're not paying attention, okay? But somebody can't fucking steal some shit from you. I don't feel like nothing just drastic finna happen to you, but I feel like whatever you can do, you know, to protect yourself, you need to do that because you got somebody that's on your ass all the time and they just won't stop trying to be you, literally mimicking every fucking thing you do, bro. And it's literally, maybe you should pull back from social media as well, okay? like pull back from going live or pull back from you know just being seen by so many people and when you do make sure you're heavily fucking protected here because these people will merge into your energy field without your consent they'll come into your energy and won't care you know that's not their job to care of course they're gonna get karma but do you think they care at the moment about fucking karma no they don't they don't give a fuck about no karma that they gotta pay later on okay these people just looking at what the fuck they can get right now because they ain't got shit, okay? Here, they just don't. They don't got shit the fuck. Look going the fuck on, period. Okay, you guys. So just always use your discernment here. Divine, feminine, masculine. Okay. Okay.